Hey friends, Mr. Barry here, and today for gym class, we're gonna be learning how to juggle. And juggling is a fantastic activity that is gonna help with your hand-eye coordination. It's gonna work on your motor skill development. It's gonna help stimulate the brain because it uses different pathways actually when you're juggling. It's very cool. And so we're gonna start out nice and basic, and we're gonna start out juggling scarves. Now, if you don't have scarves at home, that is okay. I just want you to grab some tissues, okay? Grab three tissues, that's the max amount of items that we're going to juggle today. And primarily, we're just gonna start off with one, and maybe for some of the harder activities, we'll try using other objects that you can throw a little easier than the tissues. So go ahead, grab a tissue, and let's get started. All right, now that you got your juggling scarf or that you got your tissue, we are ready to go. And you're gonna grab that scarf right in the center, just like that. Okay, that's gonna give it the most time for it to kind of drop down if you hold it like that. So right in the middle, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise it up, let go, and then come down. And when you grab it, it's almost like you're just gonna use a clawing motion to grab the scarf. You're gonna claw just on top of it, right on top, and that's gonna be how you catch the scarf. Now, I don't have to throw it super high. If I throw it super high, and if I just easily lift and let it loose and let it fall, it's gonna actually fall at about the same rate, okay? You don't need to throw it super high. It's not gonna go super high. So just lift it, let go and catch, lift, let go and catch. I'm just bringing my arm up over my head and I'm letting it fall and catch, okay? I'll do the tissue just so you can see what it kind of looks like. Lift and then you're gonna be catching. Now it's gonna be a little harder because it is gonna move more, okay? It is gonna move more as it's coming down, sometimes you might get a, a good throw that's a little easier. Throwing it up, let it fall and catch. Throw it up, and catch. Nice up and catch, just like that, okay? Lift, let it fall and catch down. Very good. All right, now I want you to try alternating hands. You're gonna throw the scarf from one hand to the other. So I'm gonna go from my right to my left, my left, to my right, and to do that, I'm just gonna bring my arm across a little bit as I throw it. That's naturally gonna shift it to the other side. So I'm gonna cross it over here, catch, cross it, and catch. Throw, catch, throw, catch. Very good. All right, you're getting the hang of it. Throw and catch. Just bring that arm slightly across the body, still using that claw motion to grab it, and as much as I can, resetting back into the middle. All right, I'll show you just with a little tissue. Throw, catch with the other hand. One almost got away from me. Got it. Throw, and catch, throw, and catch, throw, and catch. Excellent, very nice. Now what I want you to do, I'm gonna take that scarf, and this time, we're gonna throw it up, and we're gonna let it fall as close to the ground as we can before we catch it. You think we can do it? All right, let's give it a try. I'm gonna let it fall all the way down. You're not even gonna see me on the camera. That's how low it's gonna get. So I'm gonna throw it up, let it come all the way down, 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 and catch. Throw it up, let it fall all the way down, and catch. Let's do that one more time. Throw it up, just let it fall. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, and catch. All right, throw it up, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, and catch. Throw it up, let it fall, let it fall, and catch. Catch, excellent, very good. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna throw it up, and this time I'm going to clap as it's falling down. I wanna see how many claps I can do before the scarf touches the ground. I still have to catch it before it touches the ground. I'm gonna see how many times I can clap it and still catch it. You ready? All right, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna throw, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and still caught it. Let's try it again. Throw, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, 13, you think I can beat 13? All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Woo, that was tough. How many did you get? Excellent, that is very good. And as you keep practicing, you're gonna get better and better and better. There's nothing that you can't do, just keep on practicing. So now what we're gonna do we're gonna add in a second scarf. Are you ready? All right, go ahead and grab your second scarf or your second tissue, and that'll be fine. So I have blue and orange because I'm an Auburn and Endeavor Bronco fan. And what you're gonna do now is I'm gonna throw with that to the other side, kind of 
um, the beginning of the X pattern we learned last time. And then I'm going to throw with the other scarf, and it's going to make an X. You see that letter? See the X? So I'm going to go throw with my right first and then my left, and it's going to make an X pattern. So I'm going to go throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. All right, so I'm throwing, throwing, making that X. Then I'm catching, and I'm catching. Still using that claw-like motion to catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Now, I know this is probably a lot harder if you're using the tissues at home. Let me see how that is for you guys. I'm going to give it a try. Probably a lot harder. Let's give it a shot. Throw, throw, catch, catch. It's doable, but there's going to be a lot more movement with the tissues. That would just get caught up in the wind. Still got that one, but it almost touched the ground. Catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, and catch. Excellent. Very, very good. All right, now I want you to take your two scarves, put them together, and I want you to ball them up or ball your two tissue papers um, up nice and little ball, just like that. And I'm going to throw it up, and I'm going to try to just catch them both. And it should be a little easier, so they should fly together. Throw it up, and I'm going to catch them both. Put them back in a ball. Throw and catch. Very good. In a ball. Throw and catch. Plenty of time. Okay, just let it naturally fall down. Sometimes it might fall right into your hands just like that. The tissues might be a little harder. Throw and catch. Very, very nice. Outstanding. Now let's try what we did with just one. Let's throw the scarves up and clap and see how many times we can clap and still catch it. It's going to be hard because they could go in different directions. You ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And catch them both. And I'll show you with the tissues what that kind of looks like. I got my two. I'm going to put them together. Throw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually missed that one. Now, if you put them too close together, it probably is just going to be one kind of scarf. Let's maybe do more of a just lightly put them together so that they separate a little bit. Throw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. And caught them, and they separated right kind of more towards the end there, but they did come apart. So very nice. You can still make it work with the tissues. Or if you have something else at home that you would rather use, um, that actually kind of floats. You could try using paper or a different type of item and it might work for you. Or you can also try, maybe you don't have tissues at home, you can actually use two solid objects, such as two tennis balls. And with one, you could just practice your throw and your catch. You could still practice your throw, clapping and catch. And then with those two objects, you could practice your throw, throw, making your X pattern. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Now you still want to make that X pattern. I could just throw without making that X pattern and catch with the same hand. But when you juggle, you're going to have to be making that X pattern to make it actually work. So I think we're ready to actually try using three of these. Do you think we're ready? All right, let's give it a shot. All right, friends, now we're going to try juggling three scarves at the same time. To do that, you're going to need to hold two of them with one of your hands and one in the other. Whichever hand has two scarves or two tissues, that is the hand that you're going to start from. You always have to start with the hand that has two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw, and I'm going to use the blue one first. I'm going to throw with my blue, and that, that, I'm going to make that X pattern. So I'm going to throw with my right hand. might look a little backwards on your um, tablet based on how you're looking, but for me, it is actually my right. And then I'm gonna throw with my other hand to come across, and then I'm gonna throw with the orange. So I'm gonna go blue, green, orange. Blue, green, orange. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna be catching. So I'm gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left, and I'm all gonna be catching all at the same time. So it's gonna look something like this, all right? I'm gonna go blue, green, orange, and now, I'm just moving and continuing to catch as they're going in the air. Show that to you again. So I have two with one hand. Start with my right. I'm going to go right, left, right, left. Whoop, I got caught up a little bit there. Let's try that again. Start here. Start the green this time. Right, left, right, left. 
And just like that, notice how I'm just tossing them in the air. Okay, it doesn't have to be super high to be able to do it and to be able to juggle. And it looks really hard, but once you get used to it, it will become second nature. It just takes a lot of practice. If you're using hard objects like tennis balls, the way you would do it, you would still hold two with one hand. And then have one in the other. And I'm going to throw, always start with the hand that's two. I'm going to throw that one first in the X pattern, then the other one. So I'm going to go throw, throw, and now I'm just alternating. Lost it there. Let's try that again. A little harder with solid objects, just like that. Okay? Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And catching. One more time. Right, left, right, left, right, and catching. So that is the basics of how to juggle. It is something that you have to continue to work at and continue to practice, but I am so proud of you today. I want you to practice for about another 10 minutes just on your own. You can start with one scarf, go back to one scarf, and just do the throw catch with just one. Or if you just have a tennis ball or something at home, just throw with just one. Then when you feel comfortable with that, throw to either side, practice to throw the claps, then you can start adding two, and then you can get to trying three. I know that three is probably very hard with the tissues to try to catch all three and keep it going because the wind's going to push a little bit, but do your best. Very proud of you. I'll see you next time for gym class.